What's up, everybody? My name is Tim Roswick, and today, coming off of four days of Game Jam, a day of playing viewers' games online, and a bunch of work, I wanted to make a video about where people should start with game development, because this has come up a lot. It's come up in our, our Game Dev Underground Elite Gold meetings. Uh, we got some new people there that are just starting game development for the first time, and it's come up a lot on streams. People ask me, Tim, where should I start? Should I go to school? Should I do this? Now, if you've watched the channel for a bit, you know my history. I went to game design school for three and a half years. I dropped out because I didn't learn a, a whole lot at game design school. It didn't teach me much of anything. And I kind of, I, I, I have a little bit of a grudge against school. Didn't teach me much. And I'm kind of bummed about that. Maybe I went to a shitty school. Maybe curriculum just wasn't there yet, whatever it is. Uh, but I learned game development anyway. And a lot of people ask me, should I go to school? And with, with my experience, I can't recommend game design school. Now, that might be the opportunity, the, the way to go if you're looking to get a job in AAA or something. But if you want to make games, in my mind, there's one way to actually make games. And that is, wait for it, make games. Google the shit, YouTube the shit, look it up, make games. And guess what? The best way to actually do this, by far more than anything other that I've tried, anything else. We've done all kinds of stuff on the channel. Uh, over the past 18 months, I've made, I think it's 18 games, to be honest, 18 or 19 games, something like that. Uh, and I've done them all live on stream. More than, more than half of them have been live on stream. And I've noticed the places that I learn the most, the places that I improve the most are in game jams. And if you don't know what a game jam is, a game jam is basically an event that it gets run maybe on a weekend, maybe a whole week, whatever it is. And you get together with a bunch of people and you all make games in that weekend. Excuse me. Usually, usually there's a theme. Usually there's something to go by. Like, let's say they want you to make games about, I don't know, goats. Goats are in my mind right now. So maybe that's an issue. Uh, whatever it is, whatever the theme is, whatever the game jam rules are, that's what you do. And this is really effective because it forces you to make such a tiny little game in such a tiny amount of time that you have to get it done. It forces you to think small, which means you, you think in something that's completable. You're not making an MMORPG. It forces you to have a deadline, which most of the time deadlines are the part that indies suck at. We don't like to set deadlines. And when we do, we can just say, oh, that doesn't really matter. Nobody cares. Nobody knows about it. So we can just skip it and go on to the next deadline. That's no fun. A game jam kind of uh, makes you have a deadline and work towards it. And, and really it gives you a, a release at the end, like a success. You get a little experience bonus, you know, you get, you get the loop drop, whatever it is, makes you feel good about doing it. But on top of that, here's the key. So a lot of us developers, when we make games and we release it, we realize that we don't have the ability to market it, or we haven't learned how to market yet. Or we haven't learned how to get players. So the game jam, the final bonus of doing a game jam is that at the end of the game jam, you have a bunch of people to play your game. And that feels awesome. That feels fantastic. Having people to play it immediately after you make it is something that is one of the most amazing things you can experience as a game developer. And game jams are severely underrated for people that start out in game development because they just think that, oh, they're too difficult. If I can't make a game in a year, how could I make a game in a weekend? But it is an entirely different skill set. So I know for a fact that I'm, I'm struggling with the motivation to do my three and a half year project, Philophobia, right? That's a different skill set than making games in a weekend. But going through the whole process of creating a game, scoping out the game, making it small enough to complete, finishing the game, publishing the game, going through all of the final stages, the audio, the music, everything, everything like that, setting up the game page, doing all the, the visuals and stuff like that on the page to, to make people actually want to play it. Going through all that process teaches you so much. And even me, who people think I'm some kind of expert, I'm not, I'm just a dude that makes games. After all the games I've made and all the time I've been doing this, I still learn stuff every single time I do a game jam. I'm still learning stuff. And it's super awesome. I'm super excited every time we finish because I've created something I never thought I would create. 
I just got make, done making a game about a space goat that poops cupcakes that slows down a space eating monster because he eats the cupcakes while you're running into Vikings. Never thought I would make that game. Never in a million years would I sit down to make that game. But when I actually sat down with the theme and we just started going through ideas and the community's input and everything else, we ended up with that game. And that's awesome. I'm proud of that. That's really cool. So you end up with stuff that you never thought you would end up with. You tap into powers that you never knew you had. And it all kind of culminates into this awesome, amazing thing where everybody plays your game. I think starting with a game jam is the ultimate thing that newer developers can do. And I know it's difficult. I know you don't know the software. You may not know how to code. You may not know how to do any of that. But starting with the game jam and just diving in and trying to do it as much as you can even if you start with something like Game Maker or Construct, like I use, that like you don't even have to code. You could just drag and drop and make stuff work. If you start with something like that and just make a game, focus on making a game in a weekend. That, I think, is the ultimate way to really learn how to make a game, just by doing it. So if you're new, I'd consider doing a game jam. Ludum there is just over, unfortunately, so you can't do that. But you can go to itch.io slash jams. And there's a ton of them. If you just Google game jams, you can find a bunch of resources, a bunch of websites that have game jams going on all the time. And I recommend you check them out and I recommend you join one if you're new. Just jump in and try it and make it happen. Pick an engine, just jump in and do it. <sighs> I hope you listen to this because that's the advice I wish someone would have told me before three and a half years in school and before $50,000 in student loan debt. If I would have just done that, I would have been better off. So I hope you take the advice. Once again, my name is Tim Roswick, and I would like to know what you think. Have you started your game yet? Have you ever finished a game? If not, why haven't you joined a game jam? Are you going to now? Let me know down in the comments. Let's start a discussion there. Once again, my name is Tim Roswick, and I'll see you again tomorrow.